we're at DevX UK and I'm here with Guy Royce, who's presenting a session about machine learning. So what is the topic of your uh, session, Guy? So, uh, well, I try to go with fun things. And so uh, my talk is entitled Deep Learning Like a Viking, uh, Building Convolutional Neural Networks with Keras. Yes. So can you explain a bit more about, uh, about your session? What are you you're presenting about? Yeah, uh, so uh, it's, it's sort of a, um, uh, it, 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 it's a total beginner's talk. Uh, if you haven't touched neural networks, if you haven't touched convolutional neural networks, uh, I explain how they all work. And then I go into uh, a demo where I've built a convolutional neural network to uh, recognize uh, the handwritten runes uh, from the, uh, the younger Futhark, which is the alphabet the Vikings used to uh, write down all the things that Vikings write down. Yeah. So whatever those were. Awesome, man. I can see a nice parallel with your appearance being uh, so somewhat Viking-like, so that's a nice, uh, yeah. that's a nice touch. Uh, you know, I did the 23 me and it said I was 2% Scandinavian, so okay, that's, Viking. Well, that's enough, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you're talking about convolutional neural networks. So yeah. what, is, what is special about a convolutional neural network? So uh, a convolutional neural network uh, it, it sort of pans and scans across images and finds patterns within them. And so, um, uh, if you're looking, for example, a letter, the letter might be on the left side of, the, of, a, of your field of vision, it might be on the right side of your field of vision, it might be taller or skinnier or shorter or fatter. Um, and a traditional neural network has to memorize that character in all possible options. A convolutional neural network looks and says, I found this pattern here, I found this pattern here, I found this pattern here, and through finding that pattern can recognize it and it creates a smaller network that uses less resources. Okay, cool. So we see uh, applications of, of neural networks and, and uh, machine learning and deep learning becoming more popular and more popular. So what do you envision for like the next couple of years? What, what real world applications will we see with, with machine learning or deep learning? Well, uh, I mean, a lot of the real world applications we're seeing now, we just sort of don't realize it. I, I mean, I'm, I, I just got a new iPhone and I'm, it's using Face ID. Yeah. Uh, and it's not connecting to the network to do that. Uh, there's a uh, there's a network right there's a neural net that's recognizing my face right in there. I'm assuming it's a neural network. I don't yep. know that. Um, but I think uh, what's really exciting is, is when we start composing. When the right now the neural network is the thing that we're um, we're building. And what happens when it becomes the part? And then the thing we build is composed of many neural networks. Yep. And uh, what kind of things we start seeing then? And and I I don't know what that looks like, um, but I think it's going to be really cool and. Well, I think it's. Gonna, I'm going to go with cool. Uh, there, there's a little terrifying in there too, I suppose, but uh, mostly it'll be cool. So, yeah. so what do you think? Well, do we need to be afraid of neural networks in the future, or will they mostly help us? Uh, you know, I, I think they're mostly going to help us. Okay, honestly, so. uh, I, I think the biggest risks are more of um, <laughs> them giving us what we actually think we want. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah, uh, and that's really a human problem. Okay. So the future looks bright for neural networks. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.